One tradition our church has, and maybe some of you have at home as well, is lighting the candles of the Advent wreath each Sunday in Advent as we prepare for Jesus' birth. Let's pray as we light the fourth candle for love. This prayer comes from the One Candle Liturgy by Rev. Karen Ware Jackson. Dear God, we light one candle for love because the world is broken and the wait is long. But love never ends. Love faithfully goes about the work of casting out fear, speaking truth, healing the deepest wounds, crossing the divide from this world to the next and back again. Here I am, she whispers, the servant of the Lord. So we light one candle because it only takes one. Christ with us. Amen. The meaning of Christmas can be explained in one little four-letter word, love. God sent the gift of pure love to us, love, unmistakable, in human form, to be with us. This final week of Advent helps us to reflect on this gift of love in Jesus. This final week of Advent, may our hearts and minds be filled with this love. We thank God for loving us. Welcome to our family Advent reading. We're gathered on Sunday evening, and this is the Sunday uh, before Christmas. And so hopefully we see you on Christmas Eve uh, through our parking lot sleigh ride, and then on Christmas Eve um, evening, 6, 8 o'clock, 10, and midnight for our Christmas Eve services online. We sure love for you to invite your friends uh, to share on on Facebook and social media um, and invite others to uh, to participate this Christmas Eve. Well, we're gathered to uh, do our reading. I'm in my my dinosaur Christmas pajamas. Uh, Super excited about that. And I have one of the book series that we used to read to our kids all the time. Um, and it's uh, the Christmas version of Froggy. Merry Christmas, Froggy. Froggy's best Christmas. We spend a lot of time laying in bed with our kids reading Froggy books. So Froggy's best Christmas. Froggy's best Christmas. All right. It was the night before Christmas, and Froggy was dreaming of snow. He had months of dreaming to go before it was time to wake up for spring. Thump, thump, in the dream, Max was tossing snowballs against Froggy's window. Froggy, called his friend. What? But it wasn't a dream at all. Froggy woke up and looked out of the window. Max, Max, he shouted. Oh, there we are. See, there we are. He hopped out of bed, flop, 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 and opened the door. Merry Christmas, Froggy, yelled Max, and gave him a present. Max is very loud. Well, said Froggy, this is my first Christmas present. This is your first Christmas, said Max. You were always asleep through it. I've heard all about Christmas, said Froggy. Now I can celebrate it. Yippee! And Froggy went to look for a gift for Max. Flop, flop, flop. I found the perfect one, he said. What is it? asked Max as he tore open the box. My soccer ball. The one I kicked for our winning goal at City Cup. Gee, thanks, said Max, juggling the ball on his knees. Now open your present. Froggy tore off the wrapping paper and opened the box. Inside, there was a drawing of a Christmas tree. Gee, thanks, said Froggy. 
I always wanted a drawing of a Christmas tree. No, no, said Max. I'm giving you a real Christmas tree. Wow, said Froggy. What a friend. Christmas, Max said, is about friends. Yes, shouted Froggy. Let's go find Matthew and Travis. And he rushed to his room to get dressed. Zoop, zip, zup, zup, zup. Zup, snap, zap, zwit, zoom. Then he flopped outside. Flop, flop, flop. Lots of sound effects. Froggy! Called Max. What? Did you forget something? What? Me! And together they went off through the snow to wake up their friends from their long winter naps, which was also called hibernation. First they woke up Matthew. Wake up, wake up, they shouted, and Matthew the turtle yawned and crawled out from his home beside the pond. There's Matthew down here, hanging out, sleeping. Then they woke up Travis. Wake up, wake up, they shouted, and Travis the bear yawned and crawled out of his cave under the snow. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, said Froggy and Max. This is my first Christmas ever, said Matthew. Mine too, said Travis, and together they all trudged off through the snow to find the perfect Christmas tree. There's Travis over there, the bear, coming out from his den. Here's one, cried Froggy. No, it's too skinny, said Max. Here's one, said Matthew. No, it's too fat, said Max. Here's one, he hollered, the perfect tree. And Max the beaver nod and nod and nod until... Timber! Thunk! Then together they dragged the tree home through the snow. Must be nice to be a beaver and have your own saw. Christmas, said Max, when they got there, is about friends and family, too. He scampered off and came back with his grandma and grandpa. And with everyone's help, Froggy put up the tree and trimmed it with popcorn chains and Pine cones. Putting up the tree. Then, with some paint and glue, Froggy turned the biggest cone into a tiny tree and wrapped it for his dad. Painted and wrapped a picture for his mom. And put them under the tree. It's not much, said Froggy, but mom and dad like it when I make things all by myself. Besides, said Max, it's the spirit of giving that counts. And now, said Froggy, for the star. He made a star out of foil, then pushed a chair against the tree, and climbed and reached and stretched. Timber, shouted Max. Thunk, went the tree. Froggy. Knocked over the tree. Froggy! Yelled his mother and father. Everybody's yelling on this book. What? And in they came, their eyes as big as sugar plums, which is big. Oops, croaked Froggy, looking more red, looking more red in the face than green. Merry Christmas. There he is. Kind of turned red in the face. I don't know if you can see that. And it was a Merry Christmas. Together they opened presents, rip, roasted chets, chestnuts, crackle, sang carols, fa la 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 la, ate a feast, munch, crunch, munch, and had a snowball fight. Oof. Somebody took it right in the face. You see that? Oh, Froggy. Getting nailed. This is my best Christmas ever, said Froggy. Ours too, said Matthew and Travis. This is your first Christmas ever, said Max, and everyone laughed. Merry Christmas to all, shouted Froggy, and his friends waved goodbye. Well, that is the book, Froggy's First Christmas. And to all a good night, boomed Santa Owl. Ho, ho, ho. 
Froggy's best Christmas. It was his first one. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Again, hope to see you at the drive through on Christmas Eve and then to see you online. So now, everybody have a good night's sleep and we will see you next week.